with a super random Saturday video. You guys know I save Saturdays for random videos, unboxings, watching me eat, anything that has to do with good times and maybe not makeup. So I was sitting down and kind of reflecting on stuff that I've purchased recently, what's going on with my life, what's trendy, what I could post on a Saturday that would be semi-interesting, that's kind of following a trend, or that may be familiar to you and maybe you're curious about. So, uh, recently I purchased two phone cases. One of them I purchased because I wanted to see if it was worth the hype, and the other one I purchased because I was having a really interesting and important uh, Orange is the New Black marathon, and it was a necessity. Okay, Netflix marathons are not a necessity, but you and I both know that you can't just watch one episode. So where am I going with this? Where am I going with this is I bought two different phone cases because I wanted to see what all the hype was about when it comes to these super awesome phone cases. So what am I talking about? I'm talking about two different phone cases that I purchased to make my life easier. And as a social media influencer, I thought, okay, maybe this is a good idea, you know, for selfies and for selfies and maybe for selfies. <laughs> Basically, that's all what these are for, but I found a new purpose for one of them. So let's start off with the good news first. The good news is the one that I actually liked, and then we'll go on to the one that I thought was poop. So the first case that I wanna to talk to you guys about is called a gooey case. This is the packaging that it comes in, in case you guys are interested. And I actually got the Believe case. So there is a series um, within this brand where they take um, artists and they put their art on the phone case so that it can inspire you and follow you around all day long. Like literally that's like what it says in here about the art that's on your phone case. So basically what the GUI is supposed to do, it's supposed to stick to any surface that is smooth. So any kind of plastic acrylic glass, even tile as long as it fits within the uh, you know parameter of the actual phone case and unfortunately I picked this one and that's why I keep blinding you every second this is the believe case and it's in the mirror finish so I don't know if you guys can tell but it's actually like a, a clear plastic but the on the inside of the plastic you have like the reflective part it's not really glass and it's not a very good mirror because it's a little like distorted. Do I have lipstick on my teeth? At least, I mean, that is good for something. Like you could tell if you have like an eye booger or you could tell if you have lipstick on your teeth. It's good for that. Uh, but the primary purpose of this is to be able to stick to other surfaces. So I'll show you um, with, you know, an insert on how it works. And so I bought this because it was supposed to be for like, oh, if you set a timer on your phone, you could take a picture or you could take a selfie. Like you could stick it on a mirror or something and get like a bigger, um, frame around you or like more background or whatever it's really cool like it actually does stick to things and I thought it was gonna be sticky but I don't know if you can hear that it's not sticky at all it just feels almost like silicone um, it's smooth it does get scratched up real easy so my recommendation would be I mean if I were to try this again I would get a solid color one of the just plain basic gooey cases you know I wouldn't get anything that's reflective like this one it doesn't lose its stickiness which is great you just have to wipe it down so it's definitely pretty cool I love the fact that it doesn't get like animal hair stuck to it that was my biggest fear because you guys know I have four dogs and their hair is all over the place there's a reason why I vacuum two to three times a week um, and so I thought that I was gonna get animal hair all over it but I don't I do get fingerprints it does get smudgy it does get scratched you guys can see just from holding it right now how kind of smudgy it is already but all in all this one is definitely a winner none of these are must-haves by the way like you don't need this type of phone case to take a really good picture um, so it's really cute I have the iPhone 6 plus like the bigger one and you can tell with the phone inside, it's not going to uh, add bulk. 
That's a really important thing for me. Whenever I buy a phone case for my phone, it can't add bulk. I don't know how Jess on New Girl has those funky cases on her phone that add like three times the amount of size to her phone. You guys know what I'm talking about? Um, so for me, it's very imperative, important. It's like, it's almost like a deal breaker that the uh, phone case has to be like just a little bit bigger than my actual phone. It can't bulk it up too much. Now moving on to the other phone case. And this purchase was actually the power of social media. I always see Kim Kardashian with her Lumi case, right? And you see this Lumi case all over the place. Like, first of all, can we talk about that for a second? There is no way in hell that Kim Kardashian carries her own phone with a phone case that is this big. So let me give you guys an idea of how big this thing is. Do you guys see how much it comes out of the actual phone? And all of that bulk is because it needs like that string of lights around it so that you could take a good selfie. I mean, really people, like how important is it to take a selfie that you need this gigantic case on it? So this is a $55 phone case. $55. Thankfully, it's for coffee break research purposes. So there was a purpose to buying this phone case, but otherwise I would have been really upset because I don't think I could return it. I bought it on Amazon. Um, for the Lumi case, um, it is USB chargeable, so it recharges. The battery lasts forever unless you're like a selfie queen or like an Instagram model and that's like all you do. But I'm pretty sure you use a lot more of a fancier camera than your actual iPhone. So there's that. So the Lumi case, the whole thing about it is that it gets, there's a button here. You push the button and the lights, I don't know if you guys can tell. There are lights around the actual phone that turn on and so you can take a better selfie. If you leave the button pushed, the lights dim. Ooh, did you see that? And then if you push it again, it turns off. So why don't we turn the lights off? Should we do that? See what happens? Okay, let's turn the lights off. So this is my regular bedroom lighting. So this is just whatever's up on the ceiling, right? Now we're gonna turn on the Lumi case. There we go, it's on the dim setting. Let's make it brighter. Holy Moses, see how bright that is? I don't know how, you see how it like illuminates my, my face? So this is what we're gonna do. There's no lighting except whatever's in the bedroom. I'm gonna take a no Lumi case picture, a selfie, and then I'll take a Lumi case selfie, and we're gonna see the difference. So let's see, straight on. There's one, and then we're gonna turn on the case. So, I mean, you can see how much punch this case, you know, packs. Like, it's it's intense. I'm dimming it, and then I'm going to make it brighter. It's crazy, right? Turn it off. So, there's a really big difference. I mean, if you're someone that... Let me turn the lights back on. So, if you're someone that's really, like into social media or you really like to take selfies or for some reason, I don't know, I mean it could be your business, you know, and you want to be able to have good lighting at all times. Or maybe you're that girl that's at the club every weekend and you want to make sure that you can document it so your ex can see how happy you are. I don't know what your reasons are, but honestly, $50 for a case with lights, that sounds pretty crazy. And I think what um, I didn't like the most about this case was, well, first of all, it's really hard to take off. And then second of all, um, it, it's like, it's that kind of plastic. This kind of plastic gives me hives. I know I'm being dramatic. It's just plastic, Danny. But you know what I mean? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I hate that kind of plastic. So now let's throw up these pictures on the screen and see the difference between one and the other. So if you guys look at on the left side or the one without the case, um, it's, I mean, like, whatever, like a cheapy, you know, uh, bad resolution camera. And then the second one, you're like, oh, snap, is she wearing falsies? What mascara is she using? I need to know that. So that's a pretty big difference. And I mean, in the direction that we're headed at, where social media is everything and news spreads so quickly and selfies are a thing. Do you guys remember when the word selfie was invented and people were like, oh, it's a selfie. Like, what's a selfie? Oh, when you take a picture um, of yourself. I remember I was probably, oh, I don't know, 20, 
No. Between 18 or 20, when the selfie craze started, I'm almost 32 now, and we had, you had to take like a big giant actual camera, you know, like that, and then transfer the pictures to your computer. It was a whole ordeal, but you know, you would do it for MySpace. And so now with social media being so advanced and the internet and everything and apps and editing and filters, um, things like this become a really cool luxury, you know, to have so that you could kind of step up your game when you're out. Um, but I, I just can't, you guys, I'm not saying it's a bad product, like, oh, mine broke. No, but I think it's a big investment, $50 to be able to take a well-lit picture. I don't know about that, you guys. Why don't you just go find like the Nordstrom bathroom, which all of the Nordstrom bathrooms have really good lighting, and take a picture in there. Anyway, this is such a random video, but I really wanted to share it with you guys because I know sometimes you're wondering, what is Danny up to? What is she investigating? I mean, I shared my kitchen organizers and kitchen lighting with you guys, so why not share the two new cell phone cases that were added to the Coffee Break family? So if you guys were interested, if you like really hands-free freedom, this is a really good case. This isn't one of those cases that's gonna get sticky or gross, and it's not one of those cases that's gonna stop working. Plus, it comes with a one-year warranty. And then this one, I don't know. If you're into it, like if you're down for that social media life, then you might like it, but you guys. <laughs> All right, guys, so that is it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I posted it on Saturday for a reason. I know some of you are probably out at the club with your Lumi case taking selfies and you're too busy to watch this coffee break. Totally random, but hey, you know what? This is the social media world right now, and we gotta keep up with the Joneses. Jones, Joneses. I always get corrected with that that saying. I always say it wrong, I think. <laughs> so if you guys are curious about these gadgety phone cases, I will list and link them in the description box below. And like always, if you found this video useful, entertaining, or learned something, please give me a thumbs up or subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, this coffee break is over. Bye guys!